Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We're finally going to get to some stat predictions, and we're going to start off with the running backs this time. Uh, we have a new running back room for the most part. Still have Elvin Kamara in there. Still have Taysom Hill in there, uh, kind of as the hybrid guy. But we added Jamal Williams and Kendra Miller through free agency and the draft, and those two guys are definitely going to help this running back room. Uh, and we'll start off with basically, you know, Axe going to be suspended. Uh, just for the sake of this argument, for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that the NFL is going to suspend him four games. Uh, don't know if it's going to be more or less right on the number with four. But for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that he's been suspended for four games. Now, we'll talk about last season, the stats for all four of these guys, even though Kendra Miller was in college. And we can start off with Jamal Williams. With the Lions, had 262 carries. 1,066 yards, averaged 4.1 yards a carry, and had 17 touchdowns, big red zone back, um, big short yardage guy, uh, also had 12 catches, um, and, he sh and he shared time with Swift, so that's pretty, pretty good numbers for a guy that split time, kind of took over the starting role uh, a little bit, but solid from him. Elvin Kamara last season, 223 carries, 897 yards, 4.0 yards per carry, only two touchdowns, 57 catches though, 490 yards. Uh, and two touchdowns as well in the receiving game. Then you have Kendra Miller, who was, like I said, in college at TCU, had 224 carries, 1,399 yards, 16 touchdowns. Uh, then Taysom Hill last year uh, ended up with 96 carries, 575 yards, and four touchdowns. As a team for the Saints last year, 465 attempts, 1,982 yards, 4.3 yards a carry, and uh, ended up having 16 touchdowns on the season. Excuse me, 12 touchdowns on the season. Now, we'll jump in right into these predictions. We'll start with Kendra Miller, who's probably going to have the least amount of production unless something crazy happens this season. Um, and you got to realize, Elvin Kamara is going to be suspended four games, so he's probably going to get, um, you know, a chance to run a ball as a backup, as a backup bro, the number two guys the season starts. So I'm going to predict Kendra Miller with 51 carries this year, 213 yards and one touchdown. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to want to see him, but it's just probably not going to happen, man. You have Elvin Kamara, you have Jamal Williams, uh, and you have Taysom Hill uh, packages as well. So it's going to be very, very hard for him to find, you know, playing time on this on this team, on this roster. It's no, you know, shot to him, no knock to him. It's just you have a very, very good running back room. I do think those first couple games where Elvin Kamara is suspended, he'll probably get about, you know, seven to eight to maybe nine carries a game or something like that. But if it's not an injury or anything like that, He's probably not going to get, you know, any more than, you know, what I predicted right here. But I do think he's going to be productive when he does get a chance. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see him. I can't wait to see him um, out there. Then we can move on to Jamal Williams. Now, last year, I won't call it an outlier year for him. I mean, the, the rushing touchdowns probably are an outlier. But he had a very, very good year with Detroit. Don't think he'll bring that same, you know, those same numbers to the Saints. But I think he'll be pretty, pretty good uh, with the Saints. I do have him having 191 yards. I mean, 191 carries. I hope not yards. That'll be bad. Uh, about 825 yards on the season. Eight touchdowns. I think that'll be a super, super solid year um, for Jamal Williams. Obviously, he's going to be splitting backs, uh, splitting carries with Act. The first four games, he won't have them, so he'll probably have the majority of the, the uh, carries against Kendra Miller uh, and Taysom Hill. But when Elvin Kamara comes back, I assume Elvin Kamara will take over that, you know, running back one role uh, and kind of Jamal Williams be a running back 1A, 1B type deal. He'll be a 1B to Elvin Kamara. Uh, but I do think he'll have a solid year. Like I said, 191 carries, 825 yards, eight touchdowns. He's going to have to shed a red zone carries with Taysom Hill, with Elvin Kamara. So I don't think he'll have 17 touchdowns again. Um, but I do think he'll have a good, good season, you know, on the ground. Then we have Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill, who had 96 carries last year, almost approached 100 carries. I do think he'll take a dip from that just because, like I said, we have running backs. Now you have Kendra Miller, who's probably going to play a little bit early. You have Jamal Williams, and you have Elvin Kamara. Uh, so I do think we'll still run that Taysom Hill package, but it won't be as, you know, uh, prevalent as it was last year. I think it'll still be run a good amount uh, with Taysom Hill. Like I said, we almost had 100 carries last year. I think he, he loses about 20 carries this year. I got him at 75 carries, about 412 yards, and five touchdowns. So he's going to lose a little carries, lose a little touchdowns, the same way Jamal Williams is probably going to lose a little touchdowns just because, Hey, you got basically a lot of red zone backs now. Uh, you know, they're probably going to just be sharing carries, sh sharing snaps. So everyone, you know, can't just have crazy numbers. it will be great if everybody, you know, recreated their numbers from last year. But that's just probably not going to happen. Then last but not least, we have Elvin Kamara. Now, Elvin Kamara, last year, uh, 223 carries, 897 yards. I do think he's going to – well, not do think. I know he's going to take a dip, you know, in uh, in those numbers just because he's probably going to be suspended. But, 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 but. I do think his numbers are kind of be similar. I think his attempts will be down, but I think the numbers will probably be similar and maybe even up. Um, for Elvin Kamara, I got him at 175 carries, uh, which is which would be you know uh, about 50, 50, 
Yeah, 50 less than last year uh, just because of the suspension. But I do have him having 850 yards. Now, he only ran for, um, I believe, what, 897 last year, almost 900 yards. But I do think his yards per K will go up if the offensive line is healthy. That will obviously do wonders for him with a healthy offensive line, uh, you know, and guys that can block for him and just have – just be on the offensive line all year. You know, we got Pete being hurt. McCoy got hurt. Ramchick got hurt. Hurst got hurt. Penning got hurt. Uh, and especially with Trevor Penning out there, that's going to definitely help the run game a little bit uh, if he's that, you know, left tackle number one, which he should be uh, by the start of the season. Also, something I haven't mentioned yet, the passing game. You have Derek Carr now. Michael Thomas is back. Chris Olave is going to be better in year two. I think he's going to be the best receiver on his team. Rasheed Shaheed. You got some other guys battling for the fourth and fifth spot. You can't just stack the box. You're going to have to respect the pass. You're going to have to respect the run. You're going to have to kind of respect everything about this Saints offense. So that's definitely going to open up the run game because we're going to have guys that can run downfield in the live and receive. So you kind of, kind of you know, going to have those safeties deep. Going to have those safeties deep. Those linebackers can't really, you know, rush, rush on all that play action and things like that just because, hey, we got a lot of receivers, a lot of weapons this year. So it's going to be a very, very balanced attack for the Saints this upcoming season. And I do think – They'll have a, a solid year. But like I was saying, Elvin Kamara, 175 carries, uh, 850 yards. I think he'll have five touchdowns. He had two last season. I think that's up to five this year. And I do think, surprisingly, he'll finish this year with 60-plus catches. I got him down for 61 catches, um, which would be very, very good. He had 57 catches in the, the games he played last season. I think his catches will go up this year, even with the suspension, just because I think Derek Carr will actually hit him underneath when he has one-on-ones, you know, with those safeties, with those linebackers. I think the Saints will look to find him, and maybe the screen game will get, you know, rejuvenated. But I do think the Saints rushing attack will be very, very good this year. That's why I wanted to start it with them. I wanted to start with them. So in totality, I do think the Saints have a very good rushing attack, like I've been saying. Um, and you just add the numbers up that I did, that's 492 carries. 2,301 yards and 19 touchdowns. And if you compare that to last year, 462 attempts, 1,982 yards. They averaged 4.3 yards a carry. This is about 4.6 yards a carry, 12 touchdowns to 19 touchdowns. I do think the Saints will have a very, very good season on the ground. Uh, And, and that's all, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below about, you know, who will run for what, the stats, and things like that. Uh, And thank y'all for tuning in. Once again, as always, man, it's the Boot Tragedies. And I'm out.